We're, We're American, American Bombshell. Bombshell. Winners of the Grammy Amplifier Program. How are you? Hey, nice Steve, to meet you. Mike, how you doing? Welcome to Los Angeles. He, he produced and is responsible for Guns N' Roses and Megadeth and Motley Crue. UFO. I mean. I've done a bunch of different projects here in all the different rooms, but we're in this room down the hall here. So okay. let's go see where our home will be for the next uh, couple days. There's so much history to yeah. this place. Every recording situation, this song's were pretty much dictated and finished when we went in there. We knew how we were gonna do it. We've never been produced. My job as a record producer is to bring out the best in the band, to bring out the best in the song. We'll write it down, we'll get the arrangement, we'll try a couple different things, and then I wanna focus on getting the drum track, sit with you guys in there, and we'll do the tracks. It's, it's interesting, the intro is too, too fast, and uh, I think that the uh, body of the song is too slow. Steve's pretty much doing the same thing. Should I pick that up like I do in the, ver in the verse? I think it should be down. Just keep it yeah, mellow got, just like exactly. that? Exactly, I think and it just should let, be mellow. To let the solo yeah. breathe? I'm, yeah. I'm basically doing the kick when you're hitting. It was a part towards the beginning of the song. I wasn't feeling it until I actually sit in there and listen to it. Then I heard what he heard, and it, it made the song. After we recorded the two rhythm guitar parts, then we moved on to the solos. On the, on the beginning, play the, play the part. Yeah, like that. that. You, can, you can get more like dirt on it. But I'm getting tired of all that data. You do that like, four or five times. That's like the comfort that. zone lick. Well, get out of your comfort zone. This is the guy that works with some of my guitar heroes. There's a lot of good things in that one, okay? A lot. It's not right yet. We've been playing this song our way for six months. So for me, it was breaking loose of the, the way I've been singing it for, for that long. Do it together, the way backwards, the way. The way she moves, you know she does it so well. She's got a look that puts you under a spell. That works better. Make it as, as rock and roll as possible. Okay, that's better. Your your pocket is better. I think the attitude's better. It's got. I mean, when you're not killing it and going full out, you got somewhere to go. Yeah. I think we're on the right path here. He's more of a rock, heavy screamer, vocalist, and uh, you know, giving it his all. She keeps saying sex ain't love. Yeah. I wanted to create some dynamics with the vocals, so I take him all the way to the point and I make them better musicians. Wow. I think that we've set their standards higher now. This challenge really pushed us to show what we're, we're capable of. Brother's got a hug. Oh. <laughs> it was intimidating, it really was, but exciting in the same, in the same vein. And Even a five-piece band from Greenwood, Indiana can accomplish so much. It's out there, we just have to go get it. This is the guy that works with some of my guitar heroes. There's a lot of good things in that one, okay? A lot. 